All right, so number eight, 155 times 2.3. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15 again, plus that 1 is 16. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Cross these out, add a 0 underneath. Now we do the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, carry the 1. That makes it 11, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Now we add. 5 plus 0 is 5, 6 plus 0 is 6. 4 plus 1 is 5, and 3 plus 0 is 3. And there is 1 behind the decimal here, so we're going to move it one spot. So we have 360, sorry, 356.5 millimeters. Okay, there's the point right here. I'll make it really nice and big. Okay, all right, let's do number 9. Number 9. I'm actually going to erase number 10 because I have a lot of room to do number 9. Chill out, guys, please. We're almost done. It says, Estella selling the lemonade. She sells each cup for 0.25 cents. Okay? For 0.25 cents. And she sells 57 cups. So I'm going to put 0 0.25 on top because it has the most digits. Times 57. Okay? 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. 7 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. Cross these out, add a 0, now we do the 5s. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 makes it 12, carry the 1. 5 times 0 is 0, plus 1 makes it 1. Now we're going to add our partial products. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. And 1 plus 0 is 1. And I have two numbers behind the decimal, so I'm going to move it two times. And my answer is $14.25. Okay? Number 10 says, you got a guy named Muhammad. He's selling cans to recycle and make money. He makes two cents per can, and he has 971 cans. So right away, I got 971, and I need to multiply 0 0.02. Okay? Now, I'm just going to do it by just two. I don't need to do the zeros. I'll show you that in a second. And then whatever total you get, you're going to subtract $15 from it, because you put $15 worth of gas in so whatever you get as your total, you're going to subtract 15, and that's going to get you your answer, okay? So let's do this first part. It's a lot simpler than it looks, actually. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 7 is 14. Carry the 1. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 1 is 19, okay? You don't need to do the zeros. It's going to be zero. So when you add it up, it's going to be the same number. Why bother? I know there's two numbers behind a decimal, so I'm going to go 1, 2. That's going to make me $19.42. I'm going to take the $19.42, and I'm going to subtract $15 from that, okay? Because he says he spends $15 on gas. So line up your decimals, because you're subtracting now. Line up your decimals, and then subtract normal. 2 minus 0 is 2. 4 minus 0 is 4. 5 minus 4. Uh, the 9 minus 5 is 4, and 1 minus, minus 1 is 0. So I have $4.42. Okay? Any questions on any of this? Go ahead and turn that off.